It has a population of a bit over 600 now. When I was young, it was only 400. The town has now been named, though, as one of the state's 50 hidden gems that's worth a visit. And as we go over this beautiful old bridge, I'm going to show you why it is a hidden gem. I'm turning into the main street, which is usually kind of busy on a Saturday morning, we'll see. Murchison was proclaimed a town in 1854, and that's how old this building is, which is sort of the general store and where I'm gonna buy the paper. Just that one, thanks. All of the buildings here have, have stayed pretty much the same for decades. When other towns in the 60s and 70s thought that they were doing progress and knocking down old buildings, that didn't happen in Murchison. The excellent bakery is in the same spot it's always been in. What has changed though, is in this old building is a very upmarket and trendy new coffee shop where I am going to visit a friend who actually created this place, Wagner's. And I usually come across lots of people I know in here. Look at that. You wouldn't get a coffee like that once in Murchison, would you? No way. <laughs> Not until Alice came to town. Yes, thank you, Alice. <laughs> and now I'm heading down the main street, past the old garage that's always been there too. And around the corner here is my old primary school where my sister and brother and I went. I can still remember my first day at school here. I can remember that old veranda and being a bit teary because it all felt so big and strange compared to the farm and everything that I knew. So now we're on our way to Longleat Winery, which is a relatively new addition to Murchison, but a great addition. The owners have had it for the last 15 years. And today my sister Lizzie I'm here. is running a cancer fundraiser lunch there. There are so many wonderful places in Australia that I didn't know about. And so I really urge people to sort of hit the road and just take a look at these places because it's never what it seems. When I'm filming our series Back Roads, I always say to people towards the end, what is it that you love about where you live? What's special about it? Most of them say, well, it's home and it's where I belong. And I really understand that because I think that's how I feel about this place. It really is home and, and it is very special to me and it is where I feel that I belong. <laughs> 